Welcome back to another episode of Mizzou Hockey TV, the first one of the 2024-25 season. I'm Ian Paprocki here with Missouri goaltender Tanner Richardson. Tanner, first of all, thank you for doing this, and uh, how are you? Great, absolutely fantastic. Uh, happy to be here. So a yeah, very successful series, a couple of 2-1 to one victories against SIUE to open the season. I want to start by talking about those games a little bit and what you saw from the team and how it went from your perspective. So uh, just kind of take me through those first two games, obviously the, uh, the beginning of a new era for Mizzou Hockey in D2, and what went right for you guys? I mean, overall, it was a fantastic weekend. Um, it was a great way to start. Um, we, we took on a, a solid opponent, um, and early in the season, that's really important. Um, you kind of want to get your feet under you, uh, make sure everything is cohesive, uh, working together well. Um, the guys really seem to be meshing. Um, you know, we have a lot of new faces on the, on the team. Um, a lot of young guys, and, and overall things were really just clicking. Um, you know, we could we could work on the on the scoring a little bit, um, but that'll just come in time, and and it's it's really awesome to see. Did it feel like it, it took a little while, like you know, during that first game to kind of get the communication where it needs to be, or was there any rust that you felt through maybe that first game uh, with so many new guys on the team, or did you really feel like it just kind of clicked right away from the get go from game one? Yeah, I mean, overall, um, from, from the first practice, um, we've had really good communication um, as a team. We've, we've been working really well together. Um, there was a few moments um, throughout the first game where, where we just didn't talk quite enough, um, and, and that just comes in time, um, getting comfortable with, with each other and our habits. And, and overall, um, I thought there was, there was a little bit of rust, but um, we ended up working it out. Yeah, well, you yourself had a fantastic weekend. You played both games, gave up just two goals the entire weekend. So I want to talk a little bit about your personal performance. What was going right for you in, in between the pipes? I mean, honestly, I was just seeing the puck really well. Um, I think I think everything was was able to carry over from where I ended at uh, at nationals last year. Um, obviously, we were able to make that semifinal run, um, but overall, it was really just carrying over um, that the performances I had at Nationals last year. Um, seeing the puck well, overall moving pretty well. Um, a couple of things to button up here and there, but overall it was, it was really a really solid performance. Yeah, I mean, and, and shifting kind of to, you know, focusing on that jump from D3 to D2 and, uh, you know, you coming back from a successful season last year. Take me through your off season a little bit and just what your training looked like. Um, if anything was different this off season from previous off seasons, you know, what did you have to really lock in on this summer to be prepared for this jump to D two uh, in net? I mean, overall, the biggest thing, um, the biggest jump between the two divisions is is the consistency um, throughout the league. Um, there's there's so many good teams and and the ceiling for these teams is so much higher. Um, you know, we saw a couple good teams last year. Lawrence Tech, obviously, Arkansas was really good. Um, but overall, these programs are, are so skilled, so fast, and, and you really just have to be ready and be able to adapt to them. Um, overall, this off season, it was, it was pretty consistent. Um, I was able to get on the ice a lot, um, really get my feet under me early. Um, I made a lot of trips up to St. Louis this year, just being from Columbia. Obviously, we've only got the one sheet of ice in Jeff City, um, so you'll take whatever you can get. Um, I was able to Fortunately, skate with um, TPH in St. Louis, which is a really good program. Um, they uh, had a lot of NCAA Division One guys, as well as um, some AHL and some even some NHL guys out there. And so that was that was awesome. It was a great experience. Um, definitely something I've never experienced before. It's it's a whole different level. Um, but just being able to see those guys and and really embrace. The talents that they have and work to better yourself is is where I was. As you enter a new season in that uh, for Missouri, do you have any goals, uh, personal goals, or anything that you're specifically focused on for, for for this season? I think the biggest thing for us is is this is just another step um, in the path for Mizzou hockey, uh, becoming a legit contender and a big program, honestly, nationally. Um, obviously, the goal eventually is for us to be an NCAA Division I program. Um, but it's just another step this year. Um, obviously, we want to continue off of the success we had last year, going to nationals. 
Um, I don't think Nationals is out of the conversation this year. Um, all the guys are optimistic and, and we're really happy with where we are this year. Um, I would say, honestly, just going and competing at Matcha, um, winning the conference would be obviously a huge step for us. Um, obviously, there's no auto bids this year um, to Nationals, and so everything goes to Regionals, and that's where we want to be at the end of the year and competing week in and week out um, to be the best that we can. Talking a little bit about your workload, last year you were splitting a lot of time in that, especially early on in the season. This year, right off the bat, two straight starts for you. Uh, do you expect the workload and that to be increased from last year? And if so, how do you approach that and how do you make that adjustment? I think this year um, we, we really want to be consistent. And I think, you know, the guy who's playing, playing well is going to end up getting those minutes. Um, I think I had a great start to the season, and you know we've got some new young goaltenders on the team, um, two freshmen who made the Division II roster, um, and so a lot of that is is helping them grow. But as much as I'm helping them, they're helping me and competing and and really just becoming a better goaltender. Um, so you know I'll take as many minutes as I can get, and and definitely want to keep playing well and and get this team some wins. You kind of led me right into my next question about those young goaltenders that are playing behind you this year. Um, as the veteran on this team and playing with those guys, what is it like to mentor them and to, to kind of teach them and help make them feel comfortable playing at this level for the first time? Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, we've got two really great goaltenders, um, Patrick and, and Zitzman. I mean, they're both, they're both great guys. They're great characters, both on and off the ice. They have incredible work ethics. Um, overall, just two really, really solid players. Um, from day one, they were comfortable. Um, and really, my goal is to help them lead this program and be the future of this program. Um, and so, like I said before, they're teaching me just as much as I'm teaching them. And, and that's, that's, that's really where we want to be in, in leading this program into the future. Yeah, and kind of looking ahead to next weekend in this Purdue series, this is a team that took two games from you last year. Uh, you guys were playing on the road against the Boilermakers, and you get a chance at revenge this year uh, against a very good squad. What is the mindset of your team, and what do you have to do to, to be successful this weekend? Yeah, I mean, I think the big thing for us is is just playing as a team, playing our game. You know, we, we thrive off of off of speed and skill. That is our entire game. Um, you know, we, we're a great team. We've got great individual players. And whenever we're cohesive, working together, passing the puck, we're, we're able to, to bury the puck. And, and really, we're, you know, capable of winning any game. And so I think it's just being consistent. Um, you know, we don't want to get emotionally too high or too low based off of what happened last year. Um, against this program and so really just staying consistent we want to you know do as much as we can every week to prepare the exact same yeah it was kind of be it was kind of going to be my next question was you know is this game circled on the calendar a little bit you know because of last year and and you know how heartbreaking that first game was obviously to, to lose a big lead and to lose the second game as well but um, yeah, I mean, I think that it, it sounds like you guys are, are pretty much taking every game one step at a time. Would, would I be correct in, in assuming that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, pers it's a personal game for me. Um, you know, that Friday night game last year was, was a tough loss, but, you know, we, we really want to come back and, and show why we're at the next level and, and why we're a Division II program. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about your goalie mask. Um, you have a new mask from last year. Here it is right here for everybody watching. Um, you design your own mask. For those of you who don't know, Tanner Richardson does graphic design. So this is, you know, your product. Um, you just want to talk a little bit about this mask and kind of take everybody through the, the thought process behind the design for this year? Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, my initial thinking was that uh, last year I went with kind of a gold-based mask. And this year I kind of wanted to switch it up. Um, I've obviously got the all gold pads and I thought it would be kind of kind of cool to go off of that a little bit. Um, so I went with the black base, um, got the tiger stripes kind of ghosted into the top. Um, I had to take some inspiration off of one of my favorite Mizzou helmets was back in the day uh, whenever we had the, the really big tiger, just the, the monochromatic color. 
Um, that was, those things were awesome. Um, I've got a few personal touches on here. Um, one of my sayings this year um, is no excuses. And then on the back, I've got um, inscripted here together. Um, that's really personal to me. And then I've got GMS, um, just a really good initial in my life right now. And, and really overall, um, I don't know, I just wanted to switch it up. My last year, I figured I had to, had to go big or go home, really. Have you ever thought about, like, you know, post-playing career, like designing masks for goalies? Because I know a lot of, like, NHL guys, they'll go to a specific artist and have, you know, that artist make up a design. Has that ever crossed your mind, like, potentially, you know, designing masks in the future for other goalies? Yeah, I mean, that, that would be really cool. Um, I, would, I would love to. It would be, it would honestly be so cool. And, and right now, staying in, uh, in kind of the realm of hockey in the future, that would be awesome. Um, but I like where I'm at. I think uh, I think I'll stick to you know designing hockey jerseys and and that's something I really love right now. Yeah, I do want to ask you really quick about your design of hockey sweaters. There's uh, a Texas Tech sweater, from what I understand, it is going viral right now that you designed that has it has a tortilla on the front of the jersey. So could you just uh, kind of walk us through that a little bit and and how how cool that was to be part of that process? Yeah, it it, it kind of caught me off guard today. Um, looking at my phone and seeing NHL.com, TSN, Bar Down, the Hockey House Pod, um, all posting about these jerseys. But basically, at Texas Tech, they have a tradition of, of throwing tortillas onto the football field um, right after the opening kickoff. And so that's something that they wanted to go for. I don't know how I feel about the design. Um, it's a cool design. It's a unique concept. Uh, not my cup of tea, uh, but... Overall, it was, it's awesome to see um, you know, my own work getting publicized like that. Well, if you turn on a random college hockey game sometime this winter, there's a chance that the team you're watching is wearing a sweater designed by this guy right here, Tanner Richardson. Tanner, thank you so much for your time here today. Best of luck this weekend against Purdue. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys.